Okay, short hurricane prep video. We have the fences on the ground. The trash can's gonna be tied tight to the fence. Grill is down on the ground, tied to the deck. Hot tub will have some special stuff done to it, but I still wanna get in. Bird feeders are taken down from the whole yard. And then over here, all the furniture is moved inside the sunroom and the table turned upside down. We will be lowering the swing on the fence, or the swing from the uh, trellis there, and a few other items, but that's just the beginning. Atlantic Beach, uh, they wanted to see it, they got scared. We had a pretty heavy storm about an hour ago, and that drove everyone out. But really, the beach, just to give a little bit of context, about 150 yards yesterday, you could walk halfway down this here, and people were out here getting a last day of sun, and now it's all the way up to the dunes. They had storms uh, 20 years ago, and they did a lot of sand reclamation to try and build these dunes up, but there's no doubt that these houses and these front porches are going to take a hit well before the full impact of this storm hits here. And, you know, here you can see now, Sandra, look at the surge coming up. This is the kind of stuff that we're talking about coming up, the debris in the water, and this isn't even the barely beginning of Florence's surge coming. That 9 to 13 feet is going to be much, much more serious in the coming hours. Griff, you're giving us an amazing look on the ground there, right in the middle of it, Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, but to you and your team, please stay safe. Thank you for your reporting there. The neighborhood it looks like a war zone. <laughs> Alright, so here is the neighbor's house, and there's our house. Oh boy. Alright, I'll let you know more when I can check it out. So here's the tour. I'm going to just do it this way. Because... There's going to be so many questions, I understand. The dogwood is down. We can probably fix that. This will be a little more difficult to fix. So, look at this. I mean, that had to be a tornado. Look at that. Look at the size of the wood that was just snapped. It's unbelievable. And then it fell, actually this one looks like it's actually pushed out. This one will have to come down too because it's leaning. It'll probably have to come down. Uh, I don't think I should probably be under here actually, so. Yeah, the garage door is crushed. I can see that from here. Uh, yeah. And there is full impact. I cannot tell if it's punctured high up. I'm going to go inside and uh, it's the corner of the house. I can't tell if it's impacted. That would be the uh, downstairs bedroom. All right, I'm going to pause now. So here we are in the sunroom. I think this is really good news. Looks like there's been no water entry here at all. Everything looks good. All right, now for the telltale. Let's look at the garage and then weight room. I keep trying to turn lights on. Oh yeah, we got some dam, some damage. Okay, so. The rafters, the Jeep had board, plasterboard or ceiling, whatever this is, fall on it, but that's it, it looks like. So yeah, we lost some of the ceiling here, the rafters fell, and the corner of the house is crunched. The garage door is destroyed. 
All right, let's go look in the weight room. Okay, so yeah, in here, there's been a punch through. So this will have to be fixed. And I don't have with me, I didn't bring a flashlight to see the inside. So I'm gonna have to stop the video. So this is what happened in here. So yeah, there's a lot of wet from, but basically the wall here, this insulation doesn't look wet. The floor looks wet right there, but over here I think it's been okay. Because there's no puncture, well there's a crack up there. So yeah, some water probably came in through that crack a little bit, but maybe not. The shingles might have held it, but the shingles are broken right here, you can see. And so water came in right here. Everywhere else looks okay. So overall, it's probably kind of dangerous to be standing out there. We're in pretty good shape here. Considering the size of the tree that fell on the house. The backyard. This is what I'm greeted with when I open the door. Holy moly. Uh. Should we get through here? Okay. Okay. So the white picket fence is in good shape. It seems like one of these trees is going to be stood up fence is destroyed, the swing, whatever, steps are flattened, I don't even see the steps actually, the rails are there, steps are underneath, yeah, okay, all that's gone, <laughs> trampoline's in good shape, hasn't been touched. Okay, there's the tree house, like on the ground, it's basically it flipped over. It's in front of the doors to the shed, so the tree house has got to be demoed even to get to the shed if I want to get any gas. So that might happen. This tree, so it got twisted off snapped in the middle instead of falling from the roots. Alright. So, yeah, this green fence is done here. Yeah. Let's see if I can get to the other side of the yard. Okay, other side of the yard is a little boring. Another tree. This is the one that is on the uh, sunroom. But it looks like it didn't really do a lot of damage. The gutter even looks like it's sort of okay. Let's see if I can see more of my. Yeah, I can't really tell. All right, the hot tub looks intact. The, here's a branch. This came off the oak tree. Everything over here looks pretty decent. All the windows are intact so far. And then here's the oak tree. I don't think it did any, I don't think it did any damage on this side, really. Really tell about that corner over there, and all that looks 
Uh, there in the corner of the roof. But yeah, that whole part's going to have to be replaced anyway. But no broken windows, so I think the only water intrusion we would have is the part up there on the eave, which I think is the best case scenario. Let me see if I can get up on this bench. I'll have to look at this later, but I can't really see from up here. Maybe the video is good. I plan on flying the drone later, so maybe I'll be able to check everything out for then. Okay, I think that's the update. Definitely worked, because look at all the sediment. That's an inch thick of dirt there. So this turned all this water all this way and put it on the curb so that was a good thing we might keep these around just for that one purpose every year they're clearing the bottom part so they can get the crane in it's cutting away a little bit at a time cutting its way in there seems to know what he's doing Wow.
got it, man. I mean, that's the only way to get it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, go ahead. It's fine. 